In only 30 seconds, you can build a circle on breadboard in which your capacitor can act as a battery or power supply. When I connect my 9 volt battery to the circuit, the LED will be on. However, the capacitor which is right over here will be charged and the moment I disconnect my 9 volt battery from the circuit, let's see what happens with the LED. The LED is still on and slowly it will be off again. These are the components which you need for this easy experiment. A breadboard, a power supply which I'm going to use a 9 volt battery, LED, jumper wire, 100 microfarad capacitor, 1000 microfarad capacitor and 1 kilo ohm resistor. I'm gonna start by connecting the LED to the breadboard. The longer leg is gonna be the positive pole or anode. I'm gonna connect it to the positive rail of the breadboard and the cathode goes to a blank spot on breadboard. Next, I'm gonna place my 1 kilo ohm resistor to the cathode of the LED and to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then, I will connect my 100 microfarad capacitor the anode goes to the positive rail of the breadboard and the cathode goes to the row in which the cathode of the LED is. In our case, it's the row A. Next, I'm going to connect the cathode of the capacitor to the negative rail of the breadboard and we are done. Let's connect our 9 volt battery to the circuit. The LED will be on and in this moment, the capacitor is going to be charged since the capacitor is also connected in the circuit and the charging process has been started. The moment I remove the power supply from the circuit, the LED is gonna stay a little bit on and then it will be off again. Let's see. By using 100 microfarad capacitor, the LED will be on for a short period of time and if we want to increase the uh, illumination of the LED, we can use a higher capacitor. So right now I'm gonna use my big 1000 microfarad capacitor to the circuit. I'm gonna place the anode to the positive rail of the breadboard and the cathode to the row which the cathode of the LED is. I'm gonna connect my 9 volt battery. The LED will be on. Now, when I remove the power supply from the breadboard, the LED is going to stay much longer than before. Let's see. As you saw, when you connect a higher value capacitor with an LED, it takes more time to charge the capacitor to a voltage level that can sufficiently tear on the LED. Once the capacitor is charged, it releases its stored energy to the LED, causing it to stay illuminated for longer duration before the capacitor fully discharges. Now let's make the experiment a little bit interesting. First of all, I'm going to remove the power supply. And as you see, the capacitor is still discharging through the LED. But I'm gonna stop the process of charging discharging of the capacitor with the use of push button switch. So I'm gonna remove the jumper wire. I'm gonna connect one side of the push button switch to the cathode of the LED and the other side to a blank spot on breadboard. Next, I will connect the jumper wire to the other side of the push button switch and the other side goes to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now let's connect the power supply again the LED will be on but right now the capacitor is not going to be charged since the capacitor is connected in series to a switch and right now this switch is open in order to charge the capacitor I have to press the push button switch I'm gonna press it for 3-4 seconds next I'm going to remove the power supply again now the capacitor is charged when I press the push button switch again, the capacitor is going to be discharged through this LED and the LED will be on. Let's see. You have learned that by using a capacitor, we can build our imaginary power supply or battery 
in which we can turn on an LED for a short period of time. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe my channel if you enjoyed this video. Thanks and have a good day.